declare the motion as amended carried. Opposition parties getting their way, passing a motion to launch a detailed investigation into COVID-19 spending and procurement. It's a move the Liberals fought tooth and nail. Why, in the middle of a second wave, would we jeopardize those contracts? The COVID-19 pandemic has Canada drowning in debt. Billions spent in supports for Canadians, but also in contracts for personal protective equipment and other supplies to fight the virus. Opposition parties unanimously calling for answers and invoices. If there are ways that we can improve, if we're prepared for increased cases, when potentially we would be getting a vaccine and under what circumstances and how that would be distributed, when we're getting rapid tests and what the protocols are for that, and if we're spending money in the right places. But the government says it has already disclosed millions in spending and sharing detailed information about contracts could jeopardize current and future negotiations and the government's relationship with PPE suppliers, a concern echoed by industry representatives and health experts. Some industry leaders argue they dramatically shifted production to top up PPE shortages and now is not the time to dissect billions in spending. Our business, beyond having nothing to hide, uh, I think humbly did its civic duty and would continue to do its civic duty for public information. Drug giant Pfizer has also expressed concerns about sharing company secrets. But now, with the motion passed, it will be up to a committee law clerk to decide what information Canadians can access. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.